guys welcome back to the channel so today's video I decided to do something a little different um, but I am going to be showing you my nightly routine that I've kind of developed since being back from tour um, also please ignore how I look I look absolutely disgusting because I just got back from work um, I've been at Gideon's all day just like going going non-stop um, so I feel extremely gross and we'll be changing that right away but I'm gonna kind of show you my little night routine because I think it's really cute and like aesthetic and it just really works for me. So I'm gonna show you what I've kind of been doing, which involves a lot of self-care, a lot of relaxation, and just an overall like good vibe. So I'm gonna take you along. I'm gonna start by showering and getting into some comfy clothes and we will tidy up the apartment and see what else we do today, uh, but let's get started. All right, we have taken a shower. I feel 10 times better already. Hair is in a nice little microfiber towel to reduce breakage. And now I'm gonna show you my little skincare, hair care routine after I get out of the shower. This is pretty consistent. I do this literally every time I get out of the shower. Um, and then skincare wise, I do this basically every day. Um, so skincare wise, if it's in the morning, I will do an eye cream and a moisturizer. Um, and at nighttime, I'll normally just do like a, I use like this like overnight repair cream moisturizer thing. Um, so I'm not gonna do an eye cream today because I'm obviously gonna go to bed like in a couple hours. Normally I've been using this eye cream from Verso. I'm almost done with it, so I'm trying to like get rid of it. Um, but it's got retinol 8 in it, so it should be pretty good for your eyes. I would normally put this on in the morning. And then I start off after that, I will do a um, moisturizer. I'm currently using the one from Ways of Shishido, um, which was sent to me through Influencer. Um, and I believe the Verso one I got through um, FabFitFun, which is where a lot of my skincare comes from. But I really like this one a lot. Um, and I kind of change around moisturizers um, every so often. But um, at nighttime, I have been using this Indigo Overnight Repair Cream from Tatcha. This was also from uh, Influencer, I think. Um, I'm actually kind of running a little low on it, so I'm gonna be out of that once that runs out. Um, but I feel like I can use just like any normal um, moisturizer at night. It doesn't have to be something specifically for nighttime. Um, it's just what I've been using. So I just kind of put that on. Um, which feels nice. Some days I will do like a uh, face mask, um, especially if I'm not showering, if I'm just like wanna relax, like I'll probably do a face mask, but today um, I'm not gonna do that because I don't think I need it. Now we will move on to hair. Let's take this out, Let's start and brush this out a bit. Um, this brush I'm using is from Tangle Teaser. Um, it's also from Influencer, um, but it's like, so it's to like not, um, you know, rip out your hair and stuff like that, which I mean, I think it does a good job of it. But first thing I'm gonna put in is a leave-in conditioner. Um, I used one by Maui Moisture, um, which matches my shampoo and conditioner I just used, um, which I really like the combination. I got all this from Influencer as well, and I really like it because it smells amazing. So this is their um, frizz-free and shea butter leave-in conditioning mist for dry and damaged curls. Um, doesn't look like it now, but I do actually have um, pretty curly hair naturally. Um, so I'm just kind of going to spray that all over. I always compliment on how good this smells because it makes my hair smell amazing. Um, and then I'm also going to go in with a hair oil um, just to add some more moisture to my hair as it dries. So I'm using the one from Living Proof, which is their Fridge Vanishing Oil. This I got from uh, Fat Fit Fun. Um, I have a shampoo and conditioner from Living Proof as well that I have not used yet because I have so many shampoos and conditioners I need to use up, but that'll be the one I use next. And I've heard really good things about this brand. Um, so just kind of put a little few droplets or whatever, and then rake it through my hair. And then as it dries, um, my curls will kind of come in and it won't be frizzy and it'll just give it some nice moisture that will last until I wash again. That's kind of the hair routine. So let me get into some PJs and we will start um, the rest of our night. All 
after I have set the vibe by lighting a candle and putting on the Christmas tree lights, uh, I'm gonna try and do some cleaning just because I feel so much more relaxed when I know that my apartment is clean and orderly. So that kind of changes from day to day, but I think today I'm going to unload the dishwasher and clean the dishes that are in the sink and I'm going to um, make the bed just because the room looks so much better with the bed made. Um, so we're gonna start doing that and maybe I'll pour myself a glass of wine too. So that's the plan. All right, so the kitchen and the bedroom are now clean, um, but I was in such a groove that I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna like vacuum the floors, maybe like mop the floors, cause I'm on a roll and it's so easy because now I have a nice like cordless vacuum that I got for Christmas. It's, uh, I got it from Amazon and it's a dupe for like the Dyson like cordless vacuums and it works really freaking well. So it's so easy, so I'm just gonna do that real quick around the kitchen and everything and my mouth floors and then I will finally relax. <laughs> Okay, while the vacuum is charging, um, let's pour ourselves a glass of wine because we deserve it. I, um, for Christmas, one of my, or my like main gift or whatever was a wine subscription box um, from Bright Cellars that it came super quick. You just like take a little quiz and they ask you these questions to help determine like what type of wine you would like. And then they send you a box and mine had six bottles in it and I have a two month subscription, so I'll get another price six bottles next month, which will last me plenty long. I just opened um, one of the first bottles. So this one is called Ochavado um, Verdejo 2021, which is from Spain. It is a white wine. Um, I don't know. They come with these little cards that tell you like all about them. Um, this one, I don't know, Verdejo, I guess, is the type of wine it is. Um, but it has crisp citrus flavors in this zippy Verdejo. Our wall balanced by mouthwater and acidity, perfect for our fresh spring salads at brunch. They have notes of lemon, lime peel, and hints of grass, which sounds really weird, but it actually is really good. It tastes like kind of like a normal, like Pinot Grigio type of thing, which is my um, one of my favorite types of wine to drink. Cheers. So normally at this time of the night when I'm like sitting down with a glass of wine or whatever, um, I will either put on some ambient like music, usually some like slow jazz or like um, instrumental guitar on just like a YouTube video or something while I either read a book or do an activity or like, you know, edit or whatever, some type of like leisurely activity like that with kind of like all the lights off and just the Christmas tree lights on because it's such a nice like calm setting. Um, or maybe I'll catch up on YouTube videos, things like that. So I'll kind of just spend the day on the couch. Um, and I just find it so relaxing and peaceful. Um, hey guys, it's um, the next morning because I fell asleep, like fully fell asleep on the couch last night. Um, probably around like 9 p.m. and then woke up and it was 11.30 and then I don't know how long I was actually awake after that but I think I fell back asleep shortly after and woke up at like just before 2 a.m. and finally made it to the actual bed to actually fall asleep. So I didn't really get to finish my little nightly routine although 
Me falling asleep on the couch at 9 p.m. is actually very accurate to what happens a lot because I set up this whole cozy atmosphere and it's just very easy just to fall asleep because it's so peaceful and so calming. So the atmosphere, the music, the wine, the ambient lighting, all that stuff knocked me out. <laughs> and so I didn't get to finish uh, my floors or anything like that. But overall, I'd say it was a successful night. Um, I'm definitely going to catch up with that stuff today. Today is my day off, um, which is great. So I'm going to try and get a lot of stuff done today. Um, but I don't feel the need to kind of share that because it's no longer nighttime. So it's not really a nightly routine. But I think I did show you a pretty good, accurate um, representation of what my nights tend to look like nowadays. Um, so I hope you found that content interesting. Um, and if you want me to do kind of like a day off routine, whatever, something like that, leave it in the comments below. Just let me know. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date on the latest content. You can also follow me on Instagram or TikTok at bgraf100 to stay up to date on the content there. And I will see you next week, Thursday at 6 p.m. Bye.